The circle cross section can be found under the type dropdown right here below point. And when you activate a circle, it's going to apply a constant diameter to this cross section. Now, if you start with something like, say, an ellipse or something else that has a different height and width, when you create the circle, the diameter is going to be the average of those two values. So be aware that when you go to a circle, it's going to try and even out so that the diameter is the average of the length and the width. Now you can come in and adjust this single parameter and have a constant diameter circular cross section inside your model.